name is City Egg, and welcome to the brand new Mini Cities 2. The sequel to, obviously, Mini Cities where we are able to build our very own city in Roblox. Now, right now, I am given this blank piece of land and I need to complete the tutorial, but I'm quite excited about this. I wanna see how different this is to Mini Cities 1, and uh, I wanna see how good of a city or town your boy can build. So it says here at the very top right now, it says, welcome to Mini Cities 2, starting tutorial. Click anywhere to proceed. Uh, to get started, let's first construct those unconstructed houses. Oh, okay. So by the looks of it then, you need resources to build stuff in the game. Right. Uh, click the small tree farm to view its inventory. Okay, hold on. Uh, and we can see right now, if I zoom right in, there is not enough production. We need, there is 10 wood. Uh, and we need workers. So now click export button at the bottom of the tab to transfer the resources. So click this and Supply each unbuilt. Wait, hold on You have to get the materials to build your own houses to build a town Yes, but oh, it is a delivery truck. Oh my goodness me Right and does the house then get built? Hold on The house is now built what? So, I have now people working there, which now gives me the... Okay, I'm hoping it will eventually give me the employees. <gasps> They're going to work. Are they working? I have zero employees right now. But let me build this next house. The another truck coming out to deliver. I just noticed there's dirt roads within the forest. This reminds me of playing on VR, this does. But, hold on. This is amazing. So you have to build an industry to build your town. Right, we've now done it. Open the build menu to proceed. Right, okay, how do I get rid of this? Click exit. Is that how it works? Exit, or maybe not. Oh no, this. Why is that still appearing then? I don't know how you get rid of that. I don't know how you get rid of it, boys. But I like it to now disappear, please. <laughs> but build menu, oh, there we go, now it's gone. So now I can set the roads category. I can pick a normal road and I can, this is to learn how to extend. So click the center to begin placing. Oh, we can drag and drop it wherever we like. Right, okay, then click again and then down here. Boom, your boy's made a block. Your boy has made a block. Click here to there and then there to there. Nice, right, we know how to place roads, beautiful. So speaking of which, let's unlock a new building with the dev points. Oh, you earn dev points. Okay. Right, how do I get the dev points then? Oh, development. Right. Ooh. Oh, there's a development tree. There is a development tree right now. Oh my goodness me. Okay, welcome to the development menu. This is where you can unlock brand new buildings for your city. Okay. So how do I get, like, for example, so we got this house here. If I wanted this one, I need 4.5 development points. I only have two. Um, you can earn them by construct more buildings. Let's first unlock our new building. Uh, the small stone, wait, the what? The small, small stone mine. Oh, it's in here. Oh, two development points. It's a producer. It produces stone. <laughs> I had to think then for a second what the small stone mine does. Well, let's head back to our city right now. So we've got a place in. The, hold on, let me get rid of the chat right now so I can see a bit better. Uh, the industry and the small stone mine. Can I pretty much place it anywhere? I feel like we should place it over here because of, um, you know, the current mining we've currently got going on. So if I dropped it just there. Right, let me just get out of this for a split second. We need 10 wood. Now we know how. Select the classic factory. Wait, what? Hold on. Am I missing stuff? <gasps> we are missing stuff. Right, I put a factory here. Right, there we go. And then we need to place down a corner shop. Oh my goodness me. So I put the shop this side. Hold on, let me get just right. Right, we've got a lot of stuff here that we kind of need to build, guys. Now you have everything you need to get started. If you like to replay the tutorial, okay, right, sweet, 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 thanks for playing. And remember, have fun. I will definitely have fun. So I, I, it's kind of reset my progress, but now I understand exactly what I'm gonna get done. So if I extort the wood, export the wood, sorry. So drop you off, drop you off there. That will do exactly what I need to do right now to get the workers. 
So I understand it. This is actually amazing. I was expecting it to be not much different from the first one, but this is completely different. This is completely different right now. So no development, well, in development section here right now. We need to unlock the stone mine, my development point. So I'm pretty much doing what I've originally done. I'm gonna build the road a bit further as well and change it up slightly. So if this is where we're gonna have industry and stuff like that, if I kind of skadoodle along, I actually not too, don't know how far to kind of take it, but if I just kind of go to like here, right? And then if I brought this down as well, to about there, and I'll kind of figure out the rest of it as we go along. I'll build some factories just there and there. So I've got two factories down, but I will need the stone mine, which will be placed right behind it. And I'll also place down as well the classic store. Because this is all the stuff I'm kind of going to be needing. Now, I need to have stone to build the warehouses or the factories and the store. But I can only get the stone once I've built the stone mine. Now, I can only get stone once I've built it, which I need 10 wood. So clicking on this, I can export 10 wood to over here. So the delivery has now been set. Vehicles on the way. And it is pretty dark right now. We can't see anything. But the stone mine is now going to be built. Right. Which this in itself will then hopefully start producing stone. But it won't because we don't have enough workers. Now I'm assuming we've got all the workers over here. Which we do. So I need to build a few more houses. Right. We're getting somewhere right now. So here's one house. One. Two houses. Yay. <laughs> Which need wood. So hold on, wait for we wait till we've got ten wood. Wait till we've got ten wood. We've got nine. Ten. There we go. We can only do one delivery at a time anyway. So we just got another de uh, development point for that as well. And deliveries are now being placed. So while they've now been placed, they'll then build the houses, which hopefully will get more people moving in, more workers who can work, ah, there we go, at our stone mine, which is now going to start producing stone. Now, in the meantime, what I could do is export and then drop this off, make deliveries to the places that need the wood while we wait for the stone to kind of come into our bank account right now, boys. So we got two... We're going to have three, and we keep waiting. This is so good. It, it really means that you have to build an economy. You have to build your own industries. This is really good. Right, deliver it just there. So while we wait for the rest of that to be produced, we should have five there to build our first factory. So delivery is now going out. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, boys. We're about to get our first factory. Right, just give it a moment. Which they're going to be complaining straight away that there's not enough workers. I know this. I know this is going to happen straight away. But um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it built? Is it built? Ta-da. So this will produce goods. Oh, wait. And then does the goods go to the commercial place? I think it does. Right, while we wait in there, is there any other development points I could potentially... I guess 6.5. Right, maybe getting some additional workers, so maybe going for the next style of house. That's free. I'm looking at what is the cheapest in development points. These here, but they're, they're small houses and don't provide much people living there. I can go small suburban home. Hmm. Oh, but they require planks. So I'm just kind of... Wait, is that a tent? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> um... Small American house. We'll go with this. The small American house. We'll unlock that real quick. And it is still dark. Where's the moon? Moon, go away. I really wish they didn't make these day and night cycles way too dark. And I wish we could like... I mean, I'm sure we could put down some lights or something like that. I can do street lights. But it's just way too dark, isn't it? It is way too dark. But I'll put a street light here. I'll do one here um i do one over here but i don't think they're gonna make much difference do they make any difference mm, 
like, okay, they kind of make a little bit of a difference, but not by much. I think the day and night cycle is a little bit way too dark right now. So we'll get the stone now delivered. So just here first. And then we'll get it delivered to over there. And get up you for a moment. And then export you to over here as well. Delivery is now placed. Everything then should then be pretty much built. So if I go build mode anyway, because we've got some new houses that I can build, but I do need to extend the road. The road. The road. So if I bring this a little bit further down now, and let's say I kind of went this way a little bit. And okay, we'll see where we can get the houses in. See the American style house, if I just get here, there, I kind of need to figure out where the spacing is for this road. Is it there? I think it might be one more. Maybe here. And then let me get this house down. The classic American house. There we go. We'll get a couple of these bad boys in. Now these are going to be or take quite a lot of resources to be able to build. They are going to take quite a lot of resources. Now we should get some lights around here real quick I'll just drop them there just kind of get them out of the way so we can see what's going down but we do need a lot more workers for the factories and the store which is why we're getting this all up and running now I think it might be a good idea to maybe build some additional bits of that so if I was to get like some more tree farm it's, it's a thousand big ones Right, so I'm going to buy an additional one because it's something that we're going to keep requiring from. Uh, we're going to export right now. Bam. And bam. Delivery is now placed, which does require more workers. So it's kind of like you're fighting against always having enough workers is what you're doing. You are really fighting against having enough workers all the time. But our small American homes right now are going to bring so many more people to the neighborhood. Now it brings a total of five residents, which they've instantly gone to work at here. <laughs> and we don't quite have enough workers just yet for the, um, the factories and the convenience store. So, gotta keep doing what we gotta do. I'll wait till we've got five more in here, which are only one away at this point. Only one away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get that delivered. And then over here, oh, we should be able to do the rest now with these two. So get you placed and delivered over there. And now just play in the waiting game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For the final one to be delivered. There we go. Delivery now placed. Exit you. We're all good. We're all good. So that gives us more houses and it gives us all the workers. But the problem is... The factories need to deliver the goods to over here. Now, I wonder if you can eventually automate all of this. I wonder if this is something that you can eventually automate because it's going to be quite the pain in terms of micromanaging all of this. It really is. There's a bunch of goods now stored, which that is going to generate us some sweet revenue. So export another one over. There we go. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. But I think at the end of it all, you just need more workers. Now, the happiness is not great right now. They're really kind of suffering from not having education, recreation, all that kind of jazzy stuff. So let's extend the road that works ever so slightly. And I reckon what we'll do is we'll come off all of this to about there. Oh, no, cannot collide. Oh, I just realized how expensive it is building road. Okay, maybe we kind of hold tight on building a little bit more road. But um, commercial buildings, recreational. What do we have? We have a playground I can implement. Oh, which gives us a radius boost. Right, we'll throw that there. Now, do I need to build this? What does it require? Two stone and some wood. So drop that off straight away there. And export this over there. Now, what I wish happened is, as I press X, it gets rid of that. But I kind of see why the menu still appear. Oh, you can change the colors of them. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I get why the menu still appear. 
All right, drop you off there. Because you can kind of keep an eye on how things are going. But I wish it just disappeared when you don't want to use them. So we've got the playground in, which has added a little bit. Added 100% recreational bonus. But we have no schooling and no nature. So what else can I add in right now to really help us out? Some oak trees now. Oh, I can place these around the houses. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. That's really good. Some pine trees. I'm poor! <laughs> right, so how do we make the money in the game? That's what I want to know. So we've added a little bit of nature. Actually, we've got 100% nature involved right now. So how do we earn the money? So we make money, by the looks of it, we make a total of net income of 46 big ones. It's 50 in terms of uh, commercial income, 36 in residential income, but we have 40 big ones in expenses. Okay, 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 okay. But we've got to keep making sure that we are topping up our store, otherwise we're going to have big problems. Now we can store up to 10, so we'll just kind of keep it going right now. Maybe I didn't need to have two forests and maybe not two straight away. But the money's definitely coming in. So in these development points, and how much have we now got? Six. Oh, we got quite a bit. So what can we do with this? Where does all this make now sense? This is industry. Um, I can eventually go ahead and get some stores in and gas station. Which is like the schools and stuff. Middle school. Oh, wait, I do have an elementary school. Wait, I have an elementary school already unlocked. Let me find out. Let me find out. Ah, public services. Right, elementary school. Right, I'm going to throw you in just here then. Oh, it's a thousand big ones. It's a thousand big ones. Okay, maybe I'm not quite ready to make or to spend that type of cash money move line right now. Maybe I'm not quite ready. Right, I could get an additional store to keep selling these goods, but damn, it's pretty expensive. I should really build more houses. Now, how much does it cost to build a house? Oh, they're quite expensive as well. I think we're just on the slow little grind right now to just kind of slightly extend. But I think you make the big money, by the looks of it, from commercial. So we could get an extra 50 big ones each tick if we implemented an additional commercial building so because i'm gonna i'm gonna put the the school on the back of this so if i get the wood delivered bam bam all right get rid of you bam bam get rid of you the chat's in the way if i get this store exported to over here once it's completely done then that's 10 goods being delivered Right, boom. And then cancel you. And then this store here with the six on board to this one. I would like to know if at some point you can automate that whole process. Because it will make a huge difference. It will make a huge difference. Now my income wise has dramatically increased. Look at the numbers over these current ticks as they're calling them. Has this gone from 50 to 100? Oh, making so much cash. We're making so much cash right now. 97 is the profit that we get in each time. 97 is the profit each time. So another one done. 637 right now. But you gotta keep on top of it though, because as soon as you don't fill the stores up with the goods, you then you're slightly slacking. Then you are slightly slacking. So there's no unemployed people, but then again, there's no positions available. So if I do build any additional buildings, we need more residential. 100%. 100%. Now, this is only a basic and simple start, boys, but I can see this game going into quite a lot of depth. Quite a lot of depth with the stuff that you got to unlock. I would like to know if there's any automation stuff. Has anyone has played this game enough? Can you eventually automate some of this stuff? Because it's going to be quite time-consuming trying to, you know, micromanage all of this. I can see that being quite the issue. But um, I've got enough money for a school. But we'll leave it there. If you want to see another episode, boys, where your boy continues to build this beautiful town, then make sure you smash that like button down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.